Periodically, it may be necessary to make changes to the DVR configuration or to update the firmware. You'll need an analog video monitor with a 12 to 24 volt DC power input and RCA video input, the DVR remote to access the menu controls, and if you're updating the firmware, a USB flash drive containing the new firmware. Start by locating the DVR unit. Depending on the specific vehicle, it could be mounted in any of a number of different locations, including under the passenger seat, behind the dash, or in the overhead panel. Note the status lights on the front of the unit. If the power light is not on, make sure that the vehicle is not isolated and that the ignition switch is on. Find the RCA cables at the back of the DVR. The only one you'll need is the yellow one labelled DVR, which is the DVR video output. Connect your external monitor to power, and then connect the DVR output cable to the input of your monitor. Remember that the sensor for the DVR remote is on the front of the DVR, so make sure you point the remote towards the front of the DVR. Let's take a look at the DVR configuration pages. If you're performing a firmware update, part of that process is to reset all of the settings to factory defaults, so it's a good idea to use your smartphone camera to photograph a screenshot of each page, so that you can reconfigure the customer settings correctly after the update. Start by pressing Menu on the remote. Then hit Enter for the Setup menu. You'll be prompted for your password, which your system administrator or MT Data Support can provide. And here we have the main setup menu. As you can see, there are five top-level menus. The first one is the Camera menu, where you can adjust the image settings for each camera individually. You can move through the menus with the directional keypad, and then use the plus and minus keys to change each setting as required. If you make any changes, you must continue down until Save is highlighted, and then hit Enter to save the changes. You'll then return to the top menu. If you need to exit without saving, hit the Cancel button on the remote. Let's have a look now at the Record menu. Note that it has two tabs, General and Setup. The next top level menu is the Event menu. This one has three tabs, Alarm, Shock Sensor and Speed. The fourth top level menu is Network, which has three tabs. Finally, we have the System menu. This is where we'll be performing the firmware update. As you can see, it has six tabs. General, Display, Time, Disk, Miscellaneous and Update. To perform the firmware update, insert the USB flash drive containing the new firmware. You'll note that the USB symbol becomes active in the status bar. Go to the System menu and then across to the Update tab. Then go down to Update and hit Enter. If you have more than one firmware file on the USB, you can use the plus and minus keys to navigate to the correct file. The latest version will be the file name with the highest number. From there, just hit Start and follow the prompts. After the firmware has loaded, the DVR will reboot. You should now perform a factory reset. First, stop recording by pressing the stop button on the remote, and then entering the password. Press the up button four times. Then press and hold the menu button. Enter the password. Go down to Menu Config, scroll up to Factory Reset, Ensure that Custom Mode is in Mode 3, and then down to Save and hit Enter. The unit powers down, and you'll need to cycle the vehicle ignition off and then on again to restart it. Confirm that recording has restarted via the on-screen indicator, or the light on the front of the DVR. 
Finally, you'll need to go back through each page of the settings and reconfigure them as per your earlier screenshots or notes. Remove the USB and disconnect the monitor. To replace the hard drive, first of all, stop recording by pressing the stop button on the remote and then entering the password. Now you can turn the key and pull out the drive. The key must also be in the open position to insert a drive. You'll need to format the new drive before it can be used. Enter the setup menu and then go across to system. Hit enter and now go across to disk. Go down to format. You'll see none listed. Use the up and down keys to select internal HDD. Then go to start and hit enter to start formatting. You'll be prompted to ensure you do want to erase all data. Accept the warning and formatting will begin. After formatting has completed, hit record to restart recording and confirm via the on-screen indicator or the record light on the front of the DVR.